Right everybody, so I know a lot of you like to uh, visit the markets uh, when you're actually on holiday. So we're in Santa Ponza and there is a little market. Uh, there's quite a few stalls as well. Somebody said it was a quite a little market, but there is quite a few stalls today, believe it or not. So it's on a Wednesday morning and a Saturday morning. So this is the Saturday morning. I'll put a little map up and just show you exactly where it is in Santa Ponza. It's only about two, three hundred yards uh, from the beach, which is that way. And that way takes you to the main road that actually brings you into Santa Ponza from the main uh, motorway, from the uh, roundabout. So I do know a lot of people love to do their shopping when they come on holiday and like to visit different places and visit the little markets as well because you do get some cheaper stuff on these markets. Not sure what's around there yet because I've never been around the market before. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you guys round the market at Santa Ponza and show you what there is for sale. So come on, join me and I'll take you with me. Let's go and have a look, see what's happening. All right, so this is the little market you can see there, fruit, fruit and veg and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I love a good market when you come away. So we've come early in the morning. Well, just after breakfast, I should say. It's early for me, isn't it? And uh, just see what it's like. It was a little bit overcast earlier on, but uh, it's actually turned out quite nice now. But uh, the road down there, look, that's the way to the beach. So you've got the globalists there. Uh, Parent Perinero and the uh, Santa Ponza beach there so you just come straight past there from the beach and it's straight down the bottom here so you'll see a big car park down the bottom end this is where it actually is also while we're on as well please uh, if you haven't done already if you do like what I'm doing don't forget to subscribe to the channel all right we'll start this in there let's start the underwear bit So yeah, lots of underwear for the ladies. So you gentlemen, if you want to treat your wife some, some new underwear. There's uh, loads there to choose from. We've got jewellery as well. Probably a lot of it is handcrafted as well on these markets. So yeah, really nice jewellery they've got. Handbag stalls. <laughs> Lots more jewelry. <laughs> These traditional Spanish handbags. Hiya. Hi. Are you right? Are you busy? <laughs> Got the scarves, all the clothes as well for the ladies. You've got a few knockoff handbags and uh, wallets and stuff on this store. So you've got your Gucci and your Louis Vuitton and stuff. There's quite a lot of jewellery shops, jewellery stores, I should say. There. It's not a massive market, but it's, uh, I suppose it's nice for the uh, the locals to come and get the bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. So you can buy your plants as well, so if you actually live here, or you're thinking of living here, you can actually uh, grab your plants. We've got more amp bags. This is the first time I've really only seen any of the, uh, the knockoff amp bags on the stalls. So yeah, girls, if you want a new handbag and you like your knockoff handbags, it's quite a good place to come down and get them. I suppose they're a lot cheaper than they are in the town. Are you into your Bob Marley stuff, like, eh? And you've got the little trousers for the uh, kids as well. So 
So we noticed that we, we've been buying our grandkids these, and they're actually a lot cheaper here than they are in the UK. I think they're a five pound for one of these in the UK. I think they're only three euros here. Look at the cat. <laughs> Thought that was real then for a minute. It's a lot, a lot of bag stalls. Right, starting to get out to the, some ladies' wear as well, some gentlemen's stuff as well on there, some shorts and stuff. Like the ladies' there, pair of trousers is 15 euros, uh, 25 euros for a dress, but I bet you can barter them down, couldn't you? Eh? Being market stalls, the more you buy, the cheaper it would be. Someone selling the knockoff hats as well here. Just over there, they've got some Adidas and Nike and stuff like that. Well, you can just have your fancy hats as well to keep the sun off you. Yes, yeah, so it's quite a big car park. There's, there's more stalls, and uh, like I said earlier, than somebody told me that. Oh, there'll only be a few, like 12 stalls, but it's definitely more than 12 stalls today. Which is really good. And my wife and daughter are around here somewhere. I bet they're buying stuff. The plants are so lovely, aren't they? In a different country, in a warm country. And if you want to buy some flowers for anybody, you can actually come down here and get some flowers for your ladies or your gentlemen. The fruit always looks good as well, doesn't it? Eh? The size of the melons. You got nine euros, euros for a punnet of strawberries. You can even do your own cooking if you come self catering. You can come down here and buy your vegetables. I tell you what, there's a lot of underwear stores. <laughs> Got all your nice dresses as well, ladies. So it does look like a, a, a place where people come, the regulars come, and buy all their outfits. Because you do see a lot of the Spanish ladies wearing this sort of stuff. You've even got somebody selling wine on there as well. I wonder if he actually uh, brews it himself and the olive oil. Got all your different types of olives. I tell you what, if it was smell of vision you could actually smell how fresh these olives are. Beautiful. You can even buy a ch cooked chicken. So look at this, eh? So this guy's cooking the chicken fresh. And that does smell good. He's even got roast potatoes there as well. Yeah, wow, that is really good. I've got another store selling all the meats. And some cheeses. All your different flavours. So you've got uh, half a melon, or is that a full melon for... Uh, 120 euros, which is quite cheap, though, isn't it? Cheaper than England. Okay. So, yeah, got a lot of pastries on here as well. So this looks like all uh, homemade pastries. Check them out. They look really good. And the breads as well. Okay, yeah, I bet a lot of locals come here and buy all their uh, fruit and veg and the, like the meat and uh, like the pastries as well. How good is that? So this is another way into the market as well, this entrance. I'll just show you the main road where you come to. So you've got the little mini roundabout here. Uh, you walk straight down that way that takes you down to the other roundabout where the beach is and all the shops and restaurants and the bus station as well 
So if you come for the day, you want to come to the market, you can actually catch the bus and get you get off down there and get on there as well and just bring you this way and this brings you to the market. So like I say, I'm going to put a little, um, well, I put a little map on so you can actually see whereabouts it actually is. There is actually some signposts up there saying uh, Club Santa Ponza and uh, the H10 Hotel, Abistar, Sun, Sun Beach. So that tells you where all the hotels are as well. So if you're actually hiring a car from the airport, uh, they're telling you where it is. So this is where actually the market is, where the signs are as well. So like I say, on a Wednesday and a Saturday morning. Right, let's do a bit more. Let's carry on. Let's go see some more stuff. Check it out the tomatoes. Don't they look good? I bet you don't grow any tomatoes like them at home, guys, do you? Eh? All the peppers either size of them. We've even got a sweetie stall. Check out all the sweets. So you've got your dried fruits as well, your dates, some pineapples lot, and your mixed fruits. So yeah, you get uh, for two euros, you get 400 grams, or it's four, it's a uh, one euro for one gram. So you're best off buying the uh, 400 grams, aren't you? Eh? But yeah, loads to choose from as well. They look good. These sweets do. Tell you why it's lovely and cool under here. So there you go then, Santa Ponza Market. How beautiful is that? So this place looks like it's where all the locals actually come down and buy all their fresh uh, meats and fruits and buy the dresses and the clothes, the underwear, all there. And it's all quite cheap as well, a lot cheaper than everywhere else around Santa Ponza. Uh, so yeah, you, you want to get yourself here. So what I've done, I put a little map up to show you actually where it is, and uh, it's not too far from the beach as well, and from all the hotels. So it's a really nice uh, place to come. I know a lot of people like to visit the markets when they're on holiday and have a little wander around and buy the knickknacks as well. So yeah, there's loads of jewellery down there, and there's toy stalls as well. So I hope you've enjoyed my little walk around the market, showing you where it is and uh, what's actually on there, and. Uh, when you're in Santa Ponza next time or if you're actually staying on the island of Mallorca and you're visiting Santa Ponza come to the market have a look around see what you think so right I'm going to do another video and uh, thank you for tuning in thank you for watching if you're new to the channel please don't forget please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and don't forget to give me that thumbs up as well I really appreciate all your support and I hope you enjoy watching me and uh, yeah let's do another movie and we'll see you in the next video see you all soon thank you for watching bye